People, Minecraft has got these new pots now. They're enormous. Once you've found them, what do you do with these things? I've got a bit potty and I've come up with tons of building ideas and also really cool ways of decorating these things. And wait till you see what I've built at the end. That has to be my favorite. It's something everybody needs. Pots came out in 120 and you probably already know that you need four bricks to make one. This is a plain pot, but you can also make decorated pots. And for that, you need the shirts. Yes, shirts, not shards, shirts. Most of you have probably done a bit of archaeology by now and you've found some of these things. You can decorate as many sides of your pot as you like. And there are 20 different ones that you can get. They've all got different images. That's really cool. So now you've got your weird looking pots. What do you do with them? Well, the first thing you can do is put a cork in it. Yes, every pot needs a stopper, right? And you can use different things for that. So you could, for instance, use a sea pickle. It fits perfectly into that hole. You can also put a flower pot in there. And if you want, you can plant something in your flower pot. Yep, that looks nice. Or you can decorate the top of your pot. Anything flat sits perfectly on top of the pot and the neck still pokes out. Trapdoors work, but they're maybe a little bit too big. But pressure plates, they're the perfect fit. And there are so many different options here. Tons and tons of different colors. And also item frames. Yep, item frames look great. Or if you want even more color, how about some carpet? Colorful potty pots. So you've put a few pots around your house and they all look nice and decorative. But what now? Well, my friends, you can also use these things for building. It's really useful sometimes to have things that have different widths. So have a look at this. They all get narrower. So if you wanted to build like a really cool high spire, this would be a really good way to do it. And you can also combine different sized blocks to make really interesting looking pillars. If you have narrow bits and wide bits, that makes it look really, really fun. I particularly like this one. I think I really want to use this in a build soon. Such an easy way to jazz up your building and make it look a bit different. Of course, you can also put other things in the pots. A lightning rod with a candle on top make a really cool candlestick. You can pop a fence post in there. Or if you put a redstone torch in there, it kind of looks like a bomb. And putting a lantern in there makes it look like a really large lantern. I don't know why you would want to put a brewing stand in there, but it kind of looks cool too. And of course you can put armor stands on top of it and it actually gives you free, free boots. Yeah, free boots. Yeah, yeah, you should put some pants on, boy. You should really put some pants on. Because of the weird bounding boxes of the pots, they interact with all sorts of other blocks. So I made this panel here with the hanging signs. And I think it looks really cool. I also discovered that pots make perfect shoes and socks for this guy here. Yeah, I mean, that's what anybody would want to build, right? And here's another really good one. I made a crane and with a chain on top of it, it really looks like one of those wrecking balls. I think this is, this is amazing. But let me show you my very favorite use for those pots. Come over here. Okay, look at this. If you put fence posts in there, it makes the perfect toilet plunger. I mean, everybody needs toilet plungers, right? And we didn't have them in Minecraft before, so now we have toilet plungers. Hooray! And if you think I've got a little bit potty, well, maybe you're right. So what are you going to build with your pots? Tell me. All this new stuff is so much fun. And now I'm going to try my in-game toilet. Bye-bye. <laughs>